Hey, this is Chris Murray here. Really excited about some new things in 3DS Max 2016 Extension 2. I want to work on this project I'm making, uh, opening cinematic for a game here, and I want to do some interesting things with just some random pipes and things like that. And there's a really cool new tool in 3DS Max 2016 Extension 2 that is makes this job a whole lot easier. If I pop over to a perspective view. Here's this object. I want to kind of get this really cool looking uh, pipe looking effect, randomly generated uh, pipes in the background. How do I how do I do that quickly? Well, there's a really nice tool in MCG now, mesh edges to splines. And so what it allows me to do, it allows me to take any piece of geometry like this and turn it into something like this. Now, if I just apply the mesh edges to geometry right here, it would just take all of these uh, mesh edges and turn them into splines, which is what I, I don't want that just yet. What I want to do is take this box, and it's a standard box, you know, with 10 by 10 by 10 segments. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. And then I'm going to get my generate topology tool. And this is going to allow me to take any of these, uh, retopologize this box into any one of these different pieces of topologies. Let's try a couple of the different ones. So I could take this and turn it into this. I could turn it into that. I can basically take any uh, one of these different types of topologies and use it on this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one that's a little interesting, kind of like that. As soon as I'm done with that, all I have to do is go over to the spline tools. Max creation graph is now an option here in the spline tools. And here we have mesh edges to splines. So I then create the scene node for that. And then I just pick the mesh and you can see it automatically generates a new object that is made entirely out of splines. And these are renderable splines. They have all the properties of all the other splines that you would expect. I can do sides, I can do thickness. You know, if I want to make them renderable, they're just splines. I can apply other modifiers to them. So for example, I can apply the Spherify modifier and essentially turn it into a round sphere like that. If I actually go ahead and open up the Max Creation Graph, we can see that this is actually the uh, Mesh to Edges Spline tool. This is all it is. It's grabbing the mesh, checking the nodes, validating it, and outputting it, outputting it as a spline. That's because in Max Creation Graph, we now support splines directly with spline geometry directly within the max creation graph environment so the ability to create edit and work with splines as part of the max creation graph in 3ds max 2016 extension 2 is a great new addition to the 3ds max environment